Tommy Nichols makes it to his workshop almost every day. I get here about 9, 30, 10. I don't come too early. That's the privilege of being retired. At 85, he's still building furniture by hand. You have to work at. It's just part of it, really. I don't know of any other thing that I like any better. As a child, he fiddled with wood. I, I carved this one here in, in high school. He was darn good. It's a kind of a paperweight. Then came World War II. Tommy joined the Coast Guard as a carpenter's mate. I found out that the carpenter's mate uh, cleaned the urinals. Uh, there wasn't a piece of wood on the ship except your pencil. So instead, he became a radar operator on the escort vessel. This is your ship, huh? Yeah, right there. Spent a lot of time on that ship? Two years. Nine trips across the ocean and back, 164,000 miles at all, protecting merchant ships from the enemy. We kept the submarines off the convoy. That was our job. When he returned from the war at the age of 22, Tommy Nichols wondered... What am I going to do? On the GI Bill, he became one of the first people to go to vocational school at Lafayette High School. He trained for two years in cabinet making. I learned how to lay out a piece, how to take drawing. If you can't draw it, you can't make it. Tommy Nichols can make it. He built custom homes and furniture for a living. No shortcuts in his workshop. If you lose track of what you're doing, trying to make a good piece of furniture and get your mind on how fast you can get that done, then your work is not very good. The day I visited, Tommy was sculpting legs for a desk. And you got to get that piece of wood looking like your pattern before you can go ahead and shape it out. See how it's coming around? Age has not stopped Tommy from making furniture. Just ask his four kids. For each, he made two bedrooms. Plus a chest for each of the nine grandkids. They got a house full of furniture, I guess. This craftsman loves the challenge of design. Being able to look at something and make it look like that picture. As much as he does building a piece of furniture. Make sure that... Uh, it's not ugly. Tommy remembers one of the first tables he made decades ago. He sold it to a guy for $25. Years later, he tried to get it back. I said, I'll buy that back from you. I don't want to sell it. I said, I'll give you $400 for it. I don't want to sell it. Call it Tommy Nichols's lifetime guarantee. I'll give you your money back on any piece I built. With photographer Paul Mijanya, I'm Greg Stottlemyre on Kentucky's Backroads.